Imagine being born with no legs and missing a hand. Imagine being told time in and time out again every day that you are not going to be good enough, that you are not going to be able to live a normal life. Imagine having all of these labels thrown on you from the experts down to the people that are very close to you. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to live with limitations, you don't have to live with limiting beliefs, and you don't have to live feeling defeated in life. To make it to the top is easy, but to stay right there is super hard. And when you get there, you know that you have fought exactly the fight that you were supposed to fight, because you were created perfectly, lacking nothing. From the moment you were born, you were designed to get to where you were supposed to go. Whether it took you 10 years or it took you 20 years, you were supposed to get there. This is all you're ever going to do right here. He doesn't want you to just be right here. He wants you to be like over here and over here. And the only way he's going to do that is going to take that away from you so you can go and be over here. So don't be afraid to take that step out in the unknown because you have the greatest strength living in you. And that's your belief and that's your heart. Because you were born with value, you will live with value, and you will die with value. Progress is important. Success is, that's, that's secondary. Progress is what makes you feel like you're coming alive. But what I'm talking about and what I'm going to help you and your company achieve is progress in the direction of where you want to go. So if you don't have a target that you're trying to hit, then how are you going to put the action and make the progress towards reaching that target. I can help you get there. I can help you develop the strategies. I can help you develop the personal goals to get yourself totally aligned with who you are so that you have no doubt in your mind that you're gonna go and do this and that it is crystal clear. Are you even aware of the impact that you have on other people when they see what you've overcome and what you're able to achieve with the obstacles that you have? People tell me, man, you should have seen all these people crying when you were running through downtown New York City. And I'm like, I don't understand that. You're an but, unintentional yeah. hero. But unintentionally, right. but it's just me just living free. I just That's just me doing me. I know one of the reasons you wanted to do this is because you wanted to inspire people. Maybe Definitely. those people are out there that are other amputees and have other problems thinking, I can't do things like this. Yeah. Ha have you had any response since then? Oh, tremendous response. I mean, we, we did the whole freedom tour, so we did humanitarian work and we poured into people in North and South Africa while we were there and we showed people that you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to no matter if you have legs, you don't have legs, whether you have support or you don't have support, whether you have finances, no finances, you can do it. If you really want it, you, you, could, you could find a way to do it. Being disabled has not stopped you at all. No, no, no. Being disabled has been actually a, a blessing in my life. I've used it to catapult me into many, many amazing things I've been able to do and empower people to live free, live amazingly, which is my mantra and the way I live my life. So disability is nothing. It's, the disability is really in your mind.